neutral. So this is really um, staying focused, staying balanced, uh, stability. Uh, something stable is, is trying to build for you, okay? Um, and then you have the sea otter, so transformations. Uh, this could be occurring in your life. Uh, shedding the old, starting with the new, definitely going towards something that is smooth. Um, this also requires some strength on your part, it feels like. And then um, the swan, so this is seeing the beauty. Um, if you're maybe trapped in fear or thinking that, you know, maybe you're not good enough or you don't feel beautiful, uh, this is really deep in, digging deep within yourself to allow you to maybe think different about yourself or about a situation. Um, and then you have the horse. So my gosh, a new beginning. Um, definitely spirit really having faith. Uh, the horse really uh, symbolizes strength as well. Uh, so follow your intuition. It's almost like you're you're crossing a thresh a threshold. You're going through something, okay? And it's not negative. It's positive. Uh, so so really stay in the course. Let's see what's at the bottom. Uh, the snow leopard. So this is really um, this is the uh, about watching signs, um, signals, um, following the energies. In in other words, your intuition is going to pull you towards something good, okay? And then you have the red fox. So this is about strategizing. Um, make sure it's the it's the it's the good choice that you're making. Uh, this will allow you to maybe go towards something good. Um, I think that's that crossing of that threshold. You could be in something that is dark, meaning deceiving and not so quite. Um, it could be something tricky. So I feel like this is about really uh, strategizing for some kind of stability or something like that, okay? So let's see what these mean for you guys. Welcome. I do appreciate you, you guys joining me. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I know that a lot of my YouTube uh, subscribers have been somehow taken off. So just make sure that you're still subscribed and you're still, you're still there being able to see my con content. Okay, oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see, let me fix it. There we go. Okay, so I want to know, what is the sea turtle? Um, I do feel like this is you. Maybe you've sunk on something before or maybe was confused about something. Uh, but it's really something where you're staying the course, really um, having peace and somewhat uh, following whatever that is, that dream or uh, something like that. Okay, let's see what it is. The sea turtle, please. What is the sea turtle? Uh, okay, so you have the five of swords. See, that's definitely what I feel. There's something sinking you down. Uh, the swords are, you know, it could be a conflict that's holding you down. It could be that you're needing to turn away from something or maybe surrender to something, okay? Five of swords, that's a really a sticky energy. Are you feeling like you're not gonna be able to stay on target? Or maybe to create stability for yourself. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the throat's acting up, guys. Sorry. So with the star card, um, it's really about having the faith. Are, are you halfway through something? Um, almost as if you're trying to let go of something. And you're really getting that calling from the star. Um, some kind of guidance, okay, following your intuition is big right now. This also heals you. There's also a sense of letting go of something that could be very tricky with swords here, uh, but really allowing yourself to have faith in the situation. So if you're questioning your stability, it's almost like keeping up the faith. It's, it's what it feels like. The five of swords, please, five of swords, what does that mean? So the Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning there. Even though you don't think that there will be a new beginning, there is one there. It's definitely that energy of, will I have the new beginning? Um, there's definitely something trying to be maybe delivered to you or um, give you a, a second opportunity to leave some kind of conflict, okay? Um, so follow your first intuition, your first feeling that the this 
this brings with the ace of wands it's an opportunity to grow so if you really have been boggled by something and somehow weighed down by something it's like you're floating up to some sort of stability so maybe you're ending some kind of um trickery or fighting or you know manipulation or something like that what is the star card what is the star card please okay two of swords and the four of wands so it's almost as if needing to make that choice to either end a situation that that creates conflict uh there's definitely a sense of maybe taking the blinders off with the two of swords it could be the sticky situation of not knowing what to do it, it could be a sense of where you're not seeing everything clearly um maybe you're paying attention a lot more to the conflict than to to the calling of of, of serenity um, I think that there's really the sense of needing to let something go to create some kind of uh, healing wish fulfillment um, definitely what's the two of swords two of swords two of swords uh, maybe something you're not seeing guys something you're seeing in, in a commitment or uh, something you're devoted to or something that it's 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 outgrown maybe you've outgrown a situation two of swords please two of swords okay so you have the five of pentacles that is about losing that is about not feeling fulfilled that is a sense of um I'm not gonna have enough and then you got the the knight of swords the four of swords the eight of cups the the world <coughs> the world and the wheel of fortune with the nine of pentacles oh my gosh it's just my throat is just really crazy today i'm sorry i had to stop and cough again um and what I get from that is that you're meant to walk away from something that is keeping you at a loss, that is keeping you in conflict, okay? Whether that is something in your environment, in your community, something in a home, something with the partnership, meaning like a love partnership, partnership or um, business, okay? You got the wheel and the world. So are, do you keep entering the same cycle? Um, is it something that's meant to be sort of, you know, you're supposed to let it go and you could be creating this kind of, um, loss or disconnected kind of feeling with the five of pentacles and you're not letting the new to come in. Uh, so this is really where I think whoever this is, you're questioning, uh, your success or that you can start over again, or maybe there's just something that's trying to be shown to you but you're not seeing it. You're not having any of it. Something's rushing in. Some kind of messages are rushing in here with the Knight of uh, Swords that are causing you to maybe call a truce, maybe within yourself to change something out of loss, um, being able to walk away from it emotionally, whether this is a, um, a person, place, or a thing, okay? I do see success. I see you going through the cycle and having success in whatever this is. So if you've been in a rocky situation, it's almost like um, at the bottom of the deck, it is the temperance. So it's almost like, and then the hangman. So, and the hangman is in reverse. So this is definitely the time not to be stuck anymore. It's a time to unstick yourself. I feel it's divine timing for you to move, to take action, to get out of this sticky situation with the five of swords, okay? Um, maybe you have the idea of it. Maybe this is you empowering yourself to get out of conflict, whatever that is. Okay. Um, five of swords is not a good energy, especially to start off with that. Maybe this is you coming back from that. Okay. Having a wish fulfillment of that, keeping your faith, um, starting over. Okay. So let's see. Um, it could be in the home. Okay. Uh, and it, it could be a relationship, guys, that needs to somehow uh, end because it's gone the full circle. Maybe a couple more circles than you needed it to. 
um, and really it keeps you at a sense of, um, you know, not having, um, being without. Is this you settling for something and giving everything to everybody else, but you have nothing? Um, what is the Eight of Cups? What is it with the Eight of Cups, please? The Eight of Cups. Uh, so let me see. I got butterfingers right now. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, stability. You need to walk away so that you can create stability. Uh, there's something here coming. Um, you need to call truce on it. And in other words, you got to face it and you got to be able to accept it and walk away from it. Does that make sense? It's almost as if uh, there's something you have to unbind yourself with, with the Two of Swords. Um, and that definitely could be that sense of this kind of energy where you're blocking yourself from taking action if that makes sense for anybody this could be you this could be somebody you know or it could be your other half okay um the sea otter please but i see taking some kind of courage and strength to move into something that gives you more positivity more free free flowing um maybe emotion maybe this is you handling your emotion what is the sea otter the sea otter um, building, building, um, sea otter, please. Some kind of truth, guys. Uh, sea otter, please. What is the sea otter? The lovers. You may have to choose. Uh, be, you might have to choose between something that is an old cycle and you keep st sticking with it, with the world. Um, and then maybe this is you choosing something new so you can start over with the lovers, okay? And the lovers, you can really take it as a sense of when you make that choice to do something good for yourself, it gives you a sense of um, loyalty, a sense of success, a sense of happiness, definitely that sense of transformation. Um, so is this your lover? Is this your twin transforming? Is this you transforming? Um, let's see. And what is the lovers here? What's the lovers? So you've got the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful. Uh, that is really, really allowing you to choose happiness. This is where you have everything, where you're complete. Um, and I think this is what you're guided to. This is really divine timing. Uh, it's really, with the star there, it's almost like you're messing with your destiny. You're not allowing the new destiny to come in. And it's something that you could be feeling that you need to release with the Four of Swords as far as a truce calling a truce for yourself maybe calling an end the four of swords could also be an end so you have an ending with the four of wands and the four of swords um and then you have the moon the moon card um the ace of cups the king of cups and the knight of cups oh my goodness this is a lot of change going on here this is a person that's completely transformed uh this is somebody who Maybe this is tra you transforming yourself so that you can get this Ace of Cups, that new beginning, that happiness. My gosh, you guys, you've got one, two, three, four cups right here. Um, there's definitely a sense of maybe giving this offer. Maybe you giving an offer to somebody or somebody giving you an offer of some kind of love and devotion starting over. Um and the moon changing someone who has changed someone who remember i said with the sea otter in the beginning maybe you're learning your emotions maybe you're ready to to you you're strong enough to take on those emotions and whoever this is whether it's for you or them there is really a choice of choosing happiness i don't feel the moon is bad especially with the ace of cups the pay, the knight of cups and the king of cups this is somebody who's done a full-blown transformation. And it is a masculine here. What is the queen? Um, I'm sorry. What is the moon? The moon, please. You've gone full circle. And I do feel you've been in a relationship or something you devoted to yourself. You kept yourself on that cycle for too long. Um, what is what is the world, please? The world. Okay, so you have the justice. Is this a, a divorce? being finalized is this the decision to get a divorce and break free is this destiny just sort of putting you in the place in the right time in the right place to get your karmic justice um let's see you have that and then you have the tower and then you have the magician 
so i feel something is coming i think that you're tired of hanging on to the conflict with the ace of swords that came out first you're definitely tired of that i see something that's shaking something up allowing you to start over allowing you for a new beginning with the magician this is really taking all the tools that you have and those tools being those things that you've learned okay and allows you to become stronger and really manifest a better a better um a beginning for you a better life a better healthier everything and this is part of god's plan is what they're saying with the tower um and definitely i felt that with the star card it's divine timing definitely um let's see what is what's the king of cups What's the King of Cups right here, please? The King of Cups could be loving yourself, um, really following that intuition with the moon as well. The King of Cups, please. Oh, not that one. Sorry. That's. If you guys want to know what the name of this deck is, it's called Terra Mucha. There you go. It was in the deck. Um, the, the moon. The moon. Okay, so the Queen of Cups. This is really amazing because I feel like this is allowing the love that you want, okay? Uh, whether you're male or female, you got the, the masculine and the feminine here. This definitely could be your twin. This definitely could be your soulmate. Um, this, is, this is definitely the sense of maybe doing the transformation for your twin. Maybe your twin is the one that woke you up to the twin flame journey. And really helped you to release things. Um, I do see good things coming in for you. I mean, you got the lovers. You got the Ten of Cups. Um, maybe this is somebody who has maybe finalized the divorce. What is the Tower? Just curious. Because it's going to come quickly. From something that maybe has just been really dry. A dry spell. Maybe a dry spell of no communication. Or not having loved. Or something like that it's coming um and it's because somebody's waking up someone's taking charge of whatever it is that they've learned during this transformation and what i feel it is it's a call to be happy it's a call to perhaps that aligned person that aligned person or that situation that creates a sense of stability this is karmic justice as well this is your destiny playing um playing this is definitely that sense of okay um you know you've been you've been stuck in hardship for so long especially with the five of pentacles and the five of swords that definitely is change it's it's change that um maybe you're paying attention to now you know with the two of swords you could have maybe not paid attention to it not paid attention to it is is what i'm feeling so whoever this is, it's a spiritual uh, transformation that is allowing them to have a new beginning. And it could have been brought on by a soulmate or a twin flame. If it's not that, it could be it's like your mother, your father, someone who guided you. <coughs> Maybe guided you to see the beauty in you. Um, what is this one? This is somebody who thought they were the ugly duckling. That nothing could possibly ever happen for them that is good. Um, and so there's the eight of swords and the five of wands. So see very much what I felt. You don't understand that. Maybe you didn't understand about yourself that you could have beauty on the inside of you. It's, it's in your mind. Um, and it also could be because of the situation that you put yourself in. Meaning, you know, make sure that you're in the right tribe. Make sure that you're not around confrontational people. Uh, things that make you somewhat um, complacent in something. What is the Eight of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords? Is this you needing to almost have the feeling of, of you're good enough? Okay. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, please. What's the Eight of Swords? So you have the two of cups you're stuck to somebody you're definitely stuck to that two of cups you see um and i do see it coming in i do see the manifestation maybe coming in for you um what is the five of wands five of wands it almost feels like with five of wands maybe you're not believing it maybe your person's not believing in it but i mean you got the two of cups the lovers 
And let's see what this is. So you have um, the judgment and the five. Um, let's see this one right here. Oh, okay. That's the five of cups. I read it as the five of wands, but you do have the five of wands here. So it's funny because with the five of um, five of cups and the eight of swords, you're trapped in the past. You're trapped in the past, um, perhaps because that was your person. You do have the, the, the soulmate connection here. Um, and it's almost taking somebody to choose to let this in or to happen. But with the judgment there, it's a second chance. Maybe you're scared of the second chance. Maybe you're thinking the second chance is never going to come to you. But the three of wands is really that card about manifesting and really waiting for these ships to come in. Um, and I do feel something is coming in, especially with the Knight of Cups here. Um, so this could be internal feelings, maybe anxiousness that you want this to happen. Maybe you are waiting to finalize a divorce and it's not going fast enough because you're still somewhat tied to your twin. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is also that offers stability. So maybe you're just moving towards stability. Uh, what is the Five of Wands? This one right here. So the hangman, time to go. Time to move out from the conflict. It's the hangman in reverse. So this is where you've, you've got your knowledge. And I definitely got that with the magician. That you've learned your lessons. So now leave those lessons behind and start start moving. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What is the five of cups? Five of cups. This is somebody who misses you. This is someone you miss. Um what what can you tell me five of wands please the five of wands what is okay so the five of wands is the knight of wands so take that action it's very much you're conflicted on how to take that action or um maybe you are sort of thinking it won't happen but it will happen a second chance is available for you um and see the beauty in that uh meaning stay positive Send out good affirmations. Have good feelings about yourself. Uh, knowing that you're good enough. Maybe this is somebody who's transformed. And they're maybe trying to show you that they're good enough. Okay. Um, I want to know what is the horse? What is the horse? What's the horse? So you have the chariot and the two of pentacles. And that's really about choosing. Choosing balance. This is also where you don't juggle anymore you're free i think you're free to roam i think that that is what the horse is indicating here you're free to go through that threshold through, through that new beginning you're not running away from it it's coming to you something's coming to you this could be a message this definitely could be this sense of um a new beginning um freedom you're free i think you're free to do something so maybe this is a finalized divorce and maybe you're getting anxious to make the call, maybe to reconnect to somebody. Because um, the, the, the chariot is a single person, guys. Uh, but what is the two of pentacles? Two of pentacles. I think you're just balanced. I think they're both speaking of balance. This is you uh, being to decipher between good and bad. Um, two of pentacles, please. Two, two of pentacles three of swords so you're free of that three of swords because you've done the work you've balanced something out you made a choice uh what is the the chariot the chariot please i think you're ready chariot um chariot please so you got you got the devil and you got the queen of pentacles you might be single from this toxic person you might be very much single from someone who held you back in a toxic situation. This is a karmic situation. We're clarifying the horse and the horse clearly said freedom. So you might have chosen to break off from a toxic karmic partner, whether this is you or your person. Okay. There's really, that's really what I, I, I just get. Um, it, it's a choice you made. What is the three of swords? Uh, three of Swords, you don't want to be heartbroken anymore. You don't want to... Maybe this is your person giving you a message. Three of Swords is also that message that is unexpected. It's that knock at the door that you don't expect. 
of some sort of uh, communication break. Okay, communication is coming in, guys. Pay attention to it. Um, three of Swords, please. So, and it did come out in reverse. It's the Ten of Swords. You're done being stuck in a third party situation, a toxic situation, a hardship, a betrayal, um, being betrayed. Okay, and it's very much with the Four of Swords. They're just pulling me back to the Four of Swords over here, where you definitely have to call something truce. Something, whether this is in the environment, whether this is in your home, your work, your family, there is something that you're being lied to about. There is something that maybe you're not letting go of. There could be a lot of conflict that you're holding on to, but it's time to let go of it with the Four of Swords, okay? And this is also calling a truce on yourself so that you can surrender to that. And I definitely do feel like that is why this person has had a transformation and they're letting go of, of some kind of heartache. Okay, Ten of Swords is beautiful in the reverse. I love it. Uh, that means you're no longer willing to stay in betrayal. This is you take the truth, you accept it, and you move on from it. And see, someone's definitely been stabbed in the back too many times. Okay, um, that's the best way I can tell you. So... I do see the Empress at the bottom, so maybe this is your person coming towards you. Um, I want to know, how does the story end for today, please? Okay. Uh, look, the Empress, I'm telling you, this is your person coming towards you. Someone's coming towards you, Empress. Um, I think it's the fem feminine, okay? So, uh, let's see, what else, what else, please? And this one here, the Knight of Pentacles and Holy Crap, the Emperor. Oh my goodness gracious. If you don't believe in your twin healing and you think it's taken forever, it is coming to you. I'm telling you, wow. Look out. Whoever this is, you got to let me know because there is an offer coming of stability. You got the twin flame here with the queen and the king of cups right dead center. And then you got him here. This is your equal. This is your counterpart. Okay. Wow. And the horse is telling me this is coming to you. Um let's see what else one more please give me one more okay this one right here that's because someone has chose to walk away from that three of swords that betrayal that toxic situation with the devil a toxic marriage a toxic uh boss a toxic mother a toxic relationship whatever that is for you okay um so let's see i want to know what is the spirit message here what's the spirit message this is somebody who's ending a karmic cycle okay uh let's see what is the spirit message please this one right here um and it says uh new beginnings look at that okay um everything in life is a constantly vibrating and moving and therefore constantly changing and evolving Beware, be aware that the new beginning is in the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move in a new direction. Very nice, guys. Telling you new stuff's coming in for you. Um, let's see what this one is right here. Just want to know. Let's see if they can tell me. What is the karmic cycle here? What's this karmic cycle that they've learned from? they're ready to move on from the snake i'm telling you wow narcissist and narcissist big time okay toxic okay and then you have um the mass someone who might have just been gaslighting you okay you've been gaslighted um wow okay what else please uh and then this one right here the hammer so this is stability this is rebuilding um definitely beautiful that's beautiful really um so i want to know what is the insight for this job for this i said job wow uh, maybe this is a job for some of you guys okay uh, what is the insight for the viewer today okay so it says learn from nature nature is your greatest teacher let the flower show you that you should bloom when you're ready let the tree teach you to stand strong and let the sun remind you to shine. Find nature's teachings. Very nice, guys. Someone's becoming stronger. Healing. I feel it. 
Um, and so what is, what is the today's affirmation for the viewer? This one right here. Okay. Uh, so it says here, let's show it to you. Um, I am positive, motivated, and determined. I will, be, I live with a sense of purpose and achieve incredible success in everything I do. And that's the change in this person is that they're following those, those this affirmation, okay? They've found themselves, I feel. And that's why they're screaming freedom to me. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's do this one right here. What is the whispers of love for them today? The whispers of love. Whispers of love, please. What do they need to see in here for today? Whispers of love. Whispers of love, please. Okay. Um, take a chance on love. When you start to love, our lives are changed forever. And that's where you're, you're going towards. This is you leaving that turmoil. Um, and really maybe taking a chance and, and finding that beauty within yourself, okay? That you can accomplish this for yourself. And what is this insight right here with this deck, please? What can you show them? What can you show them here, please? Very nice, guys. Uh, okay, so you have uh, travel, moving, action, taking charge, okay? And I told you, some maybe someone's traveling to you. I feel like somebody's coming in. The romance angels, to close it off, please. What do they need to see regarding love? Okay, so right away. Okay, so that communication is coming in. Remember I told you, communication, okay? So having the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And very soon, clear, clearly decide what you want so so that you know that it's going to come to you okay um so there you go i'm going to leave it at that because i feel like this is definitely headed towards you okay so thank you so much for your time have a beautiful day stay safe and healthy i'll continue to pray for you guys and i love you guys so much and thank you for joining me have a beautiful day guys i'll see you tomorrow